Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2023 and another part of this Newcastle series where today we are in the Champions League quarterfinals. We're also still in the hunt for our first Premier League title as a club and since the last episode where we had a sensational 2-0 comeback at the Parc de Princes to beat PSG. We've gone on a really nice run of form. We had this huge blip against City, PSG and Wolves. But around that, we've now had eight wins, just separated by those three defeats. Uh, and you can see we beat West Ham 3-0. So Max Mann has been really hot lately. And he got a brace in that game with Brahim Diaz getting one as well. The next game, Daniel Marlon got a brace with Joe Willock in support. And then we tore apart Manchester United 5-1. Isaac Gallagher and Bruno Guimaraes made it 3-0. Jadon Sancho got a bit of a fluky goal. It was looped from the corner of the penalty area over the keeper and in. Uh, and then Sam Maxman got another goal. Daniel Marlon with another goal as well. Both of them in very good form. And it's helpful as well because we've just crushed Man United at home and they are our Champions League opponents in the quarterfinal. In between, we also have a huge match away against Chelsea. I might throw, show all three games today so you can see a tight Premier League title race as well. At the moment, we are one point behind Liverpool. Man City, four points behind us. And surprisingly, Wolves. Uh, eight points off the lead. I mean, they can't win the title that far back, haven't played a game more, but they're in a very dangerous position. Unfortunately, we also have Isaac back fit. He does have 36 goals this season, so while I say he's not been at his best, he's still been pretty prolific this season. And he'll be joined by Sam Maxman and Madison on the wings, Camavinga, Gallagher, and Timber in midfield with Gavardio, Schlotterbeck, Garcia, Justin, and Lafont the defensive unit and as we get into this game the Manchester United team uh, very similar actually to the one we beat 5-1 in the last game that's reassuring they had Sancho, Zaniolo, Rashford all in there, Asensio was in there so I don't think this team has changed particularly much so let's uh, let's see Old Trafford this time not St James's Park it's a very different proposition uh, but we've got a chance here with Isaac over to Gavardiol he's lost out to Milenkovic Savic but Gavardiol gets there again. Now Gavardiol trying to come forward once more. That might not be Milinkovic, Savic. That might just be Milinkovic. Uh, Asensio on the right loses out to Timber. Now Sam Maximan in. Too far. Madison cleans it up. It's towards Gallagher. On to Isaac. And he has put us in front two minutes into this game. Manchester United not doing as strongly as they have in previous seasons. May well be vulnerable uh, with us attacking them as strongly as we have, but we're in a real run of form. A game against West Ham and a game against Nottingham Forest. Both of those teams failed to get a shot on target against us. We're in a real good form since that PSG turnaround. It really seems to have buoyed the team. And as it stands, we are 1 0 up away from home in the Champions League quarterfinals. I thought we were dead and gone when we lost that first leg against PSG. We looked so overmatched. I have no idea how the players pulled that one out. Uh, and yet here we are still dominating Man United. They're edging possession, but we are creating all of the good chances. We're having all of the shots as well. Sancho's picked up a knock. They've got players on yellow cards. And Madison is robbing Luke Shaw back there. Ericsson to Rashford. And again, we steal the ball. Sam Maxman's up there. It comes out. Cavardio steals it. Now Eric Garcia back to Schlotterbeck. Camavinga to Gavardio. Sam Maxman with him who's in very good form. And Gavardio tries to put it in, but it is cut out by Milenkovic. All the way back to the keeper. Now Luke Shaw. A lot of room down that left flank. And he finds Sancho who picks out Zaniolo in behind. He's rounded the keeper. And he makes it 1-1 here at Old Trafford. A really nice move. As soon as I saw all that space for Luke Shaw, I thought this is dangerous. And Sancho did well. Stopping the ball and then moving it on. Zaniola rounding Lafont beautifully. Nearly overran it, but just had the angle there to score into an empty net and make it one all as we approach half time in this Champions League quarterfinal first leg. I'm not happy that we failed to maintain the lead so close to half time, but I am happy that we are dominating this game. 
uh, at least in terms of chances created, although it has been a while since we created one. But here's Isaac running into the box. He's got players arriving as he's dispossessed. And now Sancho trying to get in behind for Zaniolo again. And Rashford is there. And it is 2-1 now to Manchester United. And things looking very tricky once more. We do seem to enjoy losing first legs of games. But uh, let's have a look at what we can do here. Can we bring anybody on? Yet again, we've been exposed down the wings with players uh, players maybe tired on the wing-back position. So I've made a couple of changes there, hopefully improved the pace. That will help us going forward and help us with their pacey attackers getting in behind. Uh, it feels a little bit unfair for us to be 2-1 well now, but we haven't really created anything since the first 30 minutes. Um, and that is absolutely what our problem is here. I'm demanding a bit more and immediately we get a shot off. Can the team do anything else here? We are just not quite making the difference. Maybe bring Daniel Marlin on because he's been in really good form for Isaac and see if that can make a difference. They're making the changes as well. Not long left here. Four minutes of added time, but the whistle goes and it is a defeat for us in that first leg. We will have the return game against St. James's Park. It's a one goal deficit is not the end of the world but it is a real shame that we couldn't win that match we need to bounce back here against Chelsea managed by Zinedine Zidane very different team today we've got Marlon Hoiberg, Diaz and Cunha in the attacking positions Willet Grimaraj in midfield with Masraoui in there as well and Justin Gavardiol, Grey Lafont. Uh, the Chelsea team, not too different from the ones you'd expect to see in the current season in real life. A couple of new signings in there, currently managed by Zinedine Zidane, which is a very good appointment. But they are eighth in the league at the moment, not just in the form table, as it describes there. They're actually eighth in the entire Premier League as well. So not having their best season and maybe in need of some new investment. But hopefully we can jump on that as Bruno steals the ball. Cunha tries to get it in behind, but Fafana cleans up. Kante out to Cucurella. Willock can't get there. And Tete has got in behind already here. Lafont with a good stop. It was straight down the middle, fortunately. Uh, but an early warning for us there. Players do seem to be getting in behind. And here's Tete again trying to do that. But Sterling's header. I don't know how he's out jumping Masrawi. He looks a good foot taller than him there. And Marlon's got in behind out of nothing. A huge mistake in the Chelsea defence. And Daniel Marlon, who has such a high work rate. One of the main reasons I signed him uh, was that ability to just chase people down and win tackles. A bit like Isaac. A massive mix-up for Fana and Sitali. who just stood there as that ball bounced behind them. Both expecting the other to clean it up. And it allowed Daniel Marlon to run in there and chip it over Mendy for 1-0. And it's another early goal for us we're really waking up and starting early in these games despite having a couple of chances go against us already in this match we do have the lead and there could be another chance here boys seem to have the wind in their sails as they play through Marlin again he's getting into the byline it comes back to Cunha Fafana cleans it up and they push the ball forward but we win it with the defensive header. Now Hoiberg to Justin. Puts it across. And Marlon is there again. And we are 2-0 up inside five minutes in this game. Beautiful stuff by the team. Really bouncing back. I mean, we were in such good form going into that United game. It was a real shock that we lost it after taking the lead. But the boys are absolutely bouncing back against the admittedly down and out Chelsea team. They're currently down in eight. But that does put us at the top of the league as it stands because Liverpool still drawing Man City also losing to an early goal hopefully we can keep that uh, league position at the end of the game look at that Newcastle top of the league by one point as the ball goes in from the corner and Masrari after the flick on at the near post has hit the woodwork at the other end and Tete here trying to come back but look at the boys determination to get this ball back this is remarkable. Now Willock to Marlon. Beautiful play. Brahim is in. And that was straight at Mendy. But we look so dangerous right now. This is so reassuring to see. Normally at this point of the season, it's a little bit more edgy. The boys are missing passes, losing possession like that. But look at him winning that ball back straight away. And Masrawi on the charge. He's in on goal. And he struck the woodwork for the second time today. I think we do still need another goal to see this one out, but Liverpool have just scored through Mo Salah and Marlon has won the ball again. 
I don't know what is going on with these players, but here's Marlon again in and Mendy, the only thing keeping Chelsea in it right now. Uh, if you can say 2 0 is still in it. Here's Brahim with a corner cleared away. And it stays 2 0 for now. Hopefully, Brentford can get a goal against Liverpool. Cunha in behind. Willock is there. Pulls it back to Hoiberg. Now, Justin. Oh, he tried to lay that into Brahim, but it was cut out by the Chelsea defender. And this feels like a siege at this point. Chelsea absolutely backs to the wall. Feels like Chelsea in real life. Tete here puts it in. And was that an own goal? That's got it as a Sterling goal. I didn't see Sterling behind Lukaku. Let's see if this is an actual goal here. And it is disallowed. Something did look strange about that goal when it happened. But now we're on the attack. Justin loses it to Tete. Fofana to Tete once more. And Lukaku's got him behind this time. Gavardio switching off. But it's cleared up by Gwei. Now Mount. Round the corner for Tete and Lukaku denied by Lafont. The flag goes up anyway. And this game now looking a bit shaky. This is what happened against Man United. We just sort of ran out of steam a little bit. But hopefully with a 2-0 advantage we can hang on to this win because it would be massive for us to get a win at Stamford Bridge in your 31st game of the season when you're one point off the league leaders. Uh, Man City have overturned their def deficit against Leicester and taken the lead. Liverpool winning as well, and Tete there scoring at the back stick. There's nothing wrong with that one. That was definitely a ball played backwards, but that was, again, the defence just completely switching off. Gonzalez there just rolled Masrawi, and look at that ball across. Justin switched off at the far side, and to me, that's a sign we need to refresh these wing backs a little bit, bring Ryan Sessegnon on, maybe add a bit more attacking intent with James Madison fresh, and get rid of those extra yellow cards on the pitch. But at the moment, we are not doing well. Cavadio just struggling for fitness, so we'll swap him off as well. And then we might want to look at Bruno Gumaraj next. As time is just running down a little bit here. I might leave Bruno for now. Cucurella on the attack for Chelsea. Pulls it back. Now Kovacic. Or Kovacic straight at Lafont. With that effort, that was a really dangerous chance for Chelsea. I think I'm going to have to demand a bit more from the players because this is not good enough at the end of this game. They've not reacted well to that either as Liverpool go 2-0 up. Here's Sessegnon. Marlon can't win the header and now Sterling to Gonzalez. In behind for Tete. He's got the run on the defence. Timber gets across well and now Guerhi can try to clean up. We're going on the attack ourselves. It's James Madison who's fresh. I don't know who that ball was to, but it didn't go right the way he expected now Kovacic in behind, but Timber intercepts. Hoiberg, that's the pass, fast passing play we like. And Madison's in on goal. He's got across to Cunha, and he's missed a admittedly difficult open goal opportunity. But that really should have gone in the back of the net. And as it stands, this game on a knife edge as Cucurella cleans up the ball. Guerhi can't deal with it. Timber has it, sends it forward to Cunha on a yellow card. Hoiberg is there as well. It's gone to Marlon Gallagher. It's that fast passing play, unlocking the Chelsea defence. And there's Cunha in our goal. And he has blasted it so high over the bar. It's basically gone out of the stadium. It doesn't look like it matters. We have won this game. But it was so much more tense than it should have been. We should have been 4-5-0 up at half-time. And instead, we finished 2-1 at risk of losing the game. Marlon, with goals in the 4th and 5th minute, did the work for us. But that was much closer than it should have been. Uh, and I'm not happy with that. But it looks like Chelsea are going to struggle to make Europe next season. Man United going to struggle to make Europe next season. But Liverpool maintain their one-point advantage at the top of the Premier League as we go into this return leg against Manchester United, desperate for a good victory. Again, a few changes for this match against Manchester United. We have to make quite a few and getting the strongest possible team that we can. Manchester United making sweeping changes, nine changes to their starting lineup as well, as they clearly bring in their strongest team. They might be a bit fresher for this one, but we are playing Marlon this time on the wing. He's too dangerous at the moment to not be in the team, but we also need Isaac's attacking intent up there. Sam Maxman's been in good form as well. Then Kamavinga and Gallagher supported by Timber in defence midfield. Then near Karte, Schlotterbeek. Garcia and Justin in defence with Lafont in goal. We do owe Manchester United. We beat them 5-1 here at St. James's Park in the league not long ago. 
We need to win again against United. Now, what can we do at home? It has to be a win if we're going to make the semi-finals. We have to win by more than one goal as Gallagher takes a free kick. And it's gone in. Eric Garcia, captain today, has done it with the header there. A 14th minute goal is exactly what you want. Gallagher there, loop that ball in. Look at the swerve on that. You know it's a goal when the free kick has that sort of bend on it. It bent away and then came in. It looked like an outside of the boot uh, free kick there. And Garcia with a looping header over Gurkan in the United goal. And it's now 2 all on aggregate. 1-0 on the night. Can we get another early goal here? We seem to peak early in the game. And so Maxman on the attack couldn't slip that through to Isaac. But Schlotterbeck launches it forward. And United do deal with it. It's Kamavinga steals it now. Isaac to Kamavinga is in on goal. And he has made it 2-0. Kamavinga with the finish as we go 2-0 up against United. There was Varane playing the brown with it to Eriksen. And we just absolutely swarmed them. The gag and press paid off. Kamavinga has the technique. And look at that. Absolutely danced through the United defence and smashed it into the back of the net. And we are 2-0 up. I mean, Man United have been in really poor form this season. They haven't strengthened their squad well enough. And we've got a chance here with Justin into Gallagher. And there it is in front of the Gallagher end. Gallagher makes it 3-0 against United. I was really surprised when we lost that first leg. We absolutely annihilated them 5-1 in the league. They've lost to really poor teams this season. They are not a strong side at the moment, Man United. And I was stunned when we were beating 2-1 at Old Trafford. I really thought that was going to be a win. So I'm glad to see that this time we have turned it around. We are 3-0 up, 4-2 on aggregate. We can't get too carried away. If they score another one and make it 3-1, we've got a nervy second half on our hands. Another goal would be ideal to see this one out. I don't want to take any chances if I can, because they're on the attack already. Baku trying to play it in behind, but Schlotterbeck cleans it up. Sam Maximan over the top for Isaac. He's in on goal, and Isaac does score his 38th goal of the season, and that will do it. I'm going to let that highlight play out, uh, the replay play out, and then I'll make the substitutions in case it cancels it. We want to see ourselves going 4 0 up against Manchester United, and there it is. Sam Maximan, I've said he's been in form, finds Isaac, and he just scores so often. Even though he's clearly not in the kind of form that he's been in the last two seasons, he's absolutely always getting goals. 38 now this season in what has been an admittedly poor season for him. Uh, I might leave it to that for now, but I do want to keep the team fresh and ready for the Premier League. But 4-0, we lead Manchester United in a Champions League quarterfinal. Uh, Man City 3-1 down as well is quite interesting. Uh, I think they won 4-0 in the first leg, so not at risk of going out just yet, but Juventus putting them under pressure. We might want to make a few more changes here, just bring some other players on. I'm even going to bring the youngsters on. I'm that confident that we can win this game. Just a few minutes left here. 4-1 now to Juve. If they score another one, City get knocked out. And what's going to happen here? We've got Masrawi with a throw in. It's come back to him. He launches it across, and Kamavinga... Denied there on the line by Agurk and Isaac being a nuisance in front of him. But it's come for United. Here's Malassia attacking down the left flank. Pulls it back to Martinez. Across, but Hoiberg with a crunching tackle in the penalty area. No foul. Now Isaac to Gallagher. Look at us flood forward. And there is Enduemi. The youngster has done it. It's 5-0. A beautiful finish from the young winger. There was Isaac with the ball, forward to Gallagher. Look at this for a pass from Gallagher. Left-footed, over the top, in behind Baku. And what a volley that is. First time. That is some technique to side-foot it. With the ball coming from behind you there on the angle. That's exactly what he did, and it's 5-0. Could there be another one? United seem to have utterly capitulated here. Isaac in behind. Endoemi couldn't get onto it. They've sent it forward. I want the clean sheet now as well. Madison in towards Isaac. There's a foul in there. Gallagher doesn't care. He lashes it into the back of the net. And it is 6-0 against Manchester United. This is exactly what I wanted to see today. Never in doubt. Imagine the scenes on Tyneside tonight after this victory. I mean, look at that. Gurkha just fell over as Gallagher lashed it past. It was almost like he was afraid to touch it in case he lost a head. And there it is, 6-0.
a crushing and devastating victory over Manchester United. Man City just eke through their first leg advantage, getting them over the line. But we have destroyed Manchester United there and we are into the semi-finals and it will be Manchester City that we play next. After beating United, we take on the other side of Manchester in our next game. Uh, before that, we do have a few Premier League games to go. So we've got Burnley, Arsenal and Villa still to play. And next episode, we will do the Champions League semi-finals against Manchester City. But if you have enjoyed this episode, do drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, see ya.